Hey yo, what's good guys? Today we got Anthony, however the hell you say his last name, helping a friend get a uh, word that I probably shouldn't say within the first 30 seconds of this video because YouTube would probably get a tad bit angry. So, let's get it. <laughs> to go. A couple of months ago, I took a okay. friend of mine to get an abortion. Get on board right now if you are going to. Okay. This is a very long, very true story. I'm interested. Let's hear it. Took my friend to get an abortion. Don't worry, guys. Wasn't my baby. Wasn't important. This right here is what you call, hey, listen, I'm going to cover my ass so all the anti-abortion people can't come for me because it wasn't even his kid. That, that, that's, that's what you call that. That's what you call that right there. I don't know if you've ever done that. Nope. Or helped someone to get an abortion. It's a big favor. Yeah. It's a big favor to do for somebody. Not an easy favor. Not an easy favor at all. Don't get me wrong. I am as pro-choice as they come, but still... The whole time I'm driving her, I'm just thinking to myself, God damn, there has got to be a better way to come up with new material. <laughs> and yes, yes, I did just say I am pro-choice. That does not mean I am pro-abortion. You have other options. If you don't want your baby, you can still have your baby delivered, leave it outside any fire station in the country, they will run it over for you. Sure. And I already like this dude. That's fucked up. That, that right there confirms to me I'm gonna like this dude, but oh, he's, true. he's so calm saying the fucked up shit. Like, most people, like, they just jump right into, like, they say it's some crazy, you just like, you know, you just take it to a little fire department, you know, just let them beep, play. Oh. It's the law. As far as I'm concerned, they've been heroes since before 9-11. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Fun little New York joke for you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, now people hear me tell this story, and they always say the exact same thing. Wow, Anthony, you're a good friend. You would help someone like that, Anthony. You're a good friend. Fuck you, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a good friend. I'm a great friend. Damn right, damn right. You know the difference? Great friends wake up at six in the morning. Great friends drive to your house. Mm -hmm. Great friends pick you up and then take you to get your abortion. Damn right. Good friends, good friends just babysit. Damn right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> a great, so basically, you're, you're saying a great friend prevents the good friends from needing to be there. <laughs> now, I have given this a lot of thought. A lot of thought. Okay. And I still don't know if it had been my baby, would I have argued to keep it? I think about that saying they always use, you know, what if your baby turns out to be a great artist someday? Yeah. I don't need that competition. <laughs> People ask me, what was it like? What was it like to take your friend to get her abortion? It was boring. I don't know I why that. I thought it was going to be fun and exciting. <laughs> but trust me, the only person more disappointed than me that day was the baby. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> Damn, my man. He said the only person more disappointed than him was the baby itself. That's fucked up. Damn. It was so boring. It was just me by myself for two and a half hours in an abortion clinic waiting room, bored out of my mind. I don't know if you've ever been to an abortion clinic waiting room before, but the magazines are not great. Interesting. The whole place is filled with kids for some reason. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, I thought they were kids. Turns out they were just ghosts. <laughs> I just like how he's just calmly, slowly delivering these fucked up Like, <laughs> he's just so chill about it. He's like, yeah, you know, like, I was hanging out with these kids in the abortion clinic and... They, they, they happen to be ghosts. They, I don't really know what to do about that. Like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the high point of the story. But I'm only halfway done. Okay. So I'm in this waiting room for so long, and I'm so bored that after a while, my mind just starts to wander. And I start to think about my friend and what she's going through behind those doors. And then almost immediately, I bring it back to myself. As you do, as you do. And I think, Anthony, what are you gonna say to her when she walks out of there? You should think of something nice to say. You should have a plan. Cause I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I blew it when she walked in there. I didn't have anything nice prepared, I didn't have a plan. The doctor called her name, she stood up, turned around to look at me one last time, and I panicked. I just went, um, kill him in there. <laughs> expected him to say some shit like, hey, see y'all around. <laughs> Something like that. I consider that to be a total failure. <laughs> Worst part for sure was the fist bump. I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she looked at me like I'm an asshole, but who is she to judge? <laughs> To be fair, like, now, obviously, as a dude, I'm never gonna have the issue of me getting pregnant and going to get an abortion, but if I was in that situation, I think I'd want my asshole's friends there. Like, I, I think I'd need some, like, fucked up comments to just have me laughing. So, you know, I feel like maybe being an asshole is a good thing in that situation. Probably not. That's probably just me. <laughs> Dude, just yo, now yeah! Now the pressure's on me. Think of something nice for when she walks out of there. But I'm not good at that. I feel that. That's not my specialty. I feel that. <laughs> Thinking up nice things to say to people in their time of need. The closest option I could come up with in my own mind was, hey, did you lose weight? <laughs> I know. That's yeah. great. Look, I'm not proud of that either, okay? That is useless. I can't say that to my friend. That is useless, except for the fact that it made me laugh. <laughs> and that's when I realized I am chuckling to myself 
in the waiting room of an abortion clinic. Of an abortion clinic. That. That's a situation I hope I never find myself in. I catch myself, I stop, I look up. I see a couple sitting straight across from me. The guy looks away in disgust, like he wants to fight me. But the woman leans forward and goes, Hey, Anthony, big fan. <laughs> That's Which I always appreciate, never a bad time for that. Literally, any trimester is good. A couple of minutes later, a nurse walks out, comes right up to me, hands me some paperwork and says, hey, are you here for Jessica's abortion? And at this point, I was so bored. <laughs> I just stood up as fast as I could and said, wait, don't you mean ultrasound? <laughs> That's great. That's actually amazing. <laughs> uh, for fuck's sake. And then I laughed for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, really threw my head back on that one. <laughs> if you're wondering about the nurse, don't worry. She was a total pro. Did not laugh at all. So I got a little more time left in this waiting room, and it finally dawns on me, Anthony, you're just a terrible person. And you are never gonna think of something nice to say to your friend. So why not just get her a present? Get her a gift to make her feel better. That way, you don't have to say anything. But what do you get for someone who's just had an abortion? I had no idea. So I Googled it. <laughs> you can Google that. <laughs> yeah. It worked. There's part of me that almost wants to Google it just to see what pops up. I'm not going to, but I encourage any one of you to Google it and, and just tell me what the first result is because I don't want it in my search history, but I kind of want to know what pops up. A website popped up, and I'm glad I looked at it too. It really helped me out. Because my first thought, commemorative coin does not exist. <laughs> yeah. A commemorative coin of when you got your abortion? That's kind of fucked. Turns out it's actually never been a thing. <laughs> I must have dreamed it. Okay. My second thought, flowers. Not flowers are always good, right? No, not oh. according to this website. This website said, do not get her flowers. Flowers are more of a romantic gesture. Then she's got to take them home, put them in water. Do not put her through that on this day. Okay. According to this website, flowers are the worst gift you can get someone after they've just had an abortion. Now, I took that advice on the day. I still don't think I believe it. I feel like we can all agree the worst gift you could get someone after they've just had an abortion would Please. be a to-go box. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was thinking in my brain. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking a box of condoms. That's what I was thinking in my brain. That's why I was chuckling, expecting him to say that. That's a to-go box. That's that's amazing. Worst gift you could get someone a after box. they've just had an abortion would be a to-go box. Right? <laughs> Think of something worse and I'll change the fucking joke. <laughs> The answer is to go box. What? What's worse, mine or his? I, 
I would honestly say a to-go box is worse, but I want to hear what you guys think. That would be inappropriate. That would be a real bucket of cold water on abortion day, no. <laughs> According to this website, there's only one gift. Okay. Only one gift is appropriate. I'm listening. After someone has just had an abortion. I'm listening. And that is a succulent. Do you know what a succulent is? No, I fucking idea. Because I had to Google that shit too. <laughs> no if you don't idea. know, a succulent is a desert plant. It's like a cactus. It's a plant that doesn't need water. It's a plant that gets its nutrients from the air, give or that. Well, damn. I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I would never do that to my friend Jessica. I would never be like, oh, here you go, Jessica. <laughs> Here's, Here's something second. else you never have to take care of. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I would never do that. What am I, a monster? So I didn't get her anything. She eventually walked out from behind those doors. I didn't give her anything. I didn't say anything. I just stood up. I gave her a hug, helped her to the car, drove her home. And I sat next to her on her couch, mm -hmm. holding her while she cried. I was a great friend that day. Yes, you were. Such a great friend that even hours later, after she'd stopped crying, calmed down, and forgotten about the whole thing forever. Right. I was still there, next to her, mm -hmm. writing down all these jokes. <laughs> Damn right. Hey, this was an amazing video. He's so he was so calm with it. Like it almost like felt like he's just having a conversation. Like hey. Man was calm with it, so I respect it. So, hey, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you go ahead and like the videos, comment, subscribe, click the bell, click all. You know how YouTube works. I'm out. Bye.